Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to this video Today we'll be looking at letter of inquiry Which is a two part video on this topic Today we'll be looking at letters of inquiry How do you write a letter The purpose of writing that particular letter or email And what does it do So without further ado Let's look at it So the purpose of inquiry Why do you want to uh, uh, write this kind of letter and emails. What do? You, what is the purpose of that? So, sometimes the first thing when you write an email or uh, letter of inquiry, inquiry, because you want to ask for the availability of the product. For example, a certain companies like uh, companies that make toys, like Toys R Us, or maybe companies that make uh, food products. Uh, so you want to ask about the availability of the product maybe they have in stock maybe they don't have it in stock so you need to ask them first so that is why you write a letter or email of inquiry you want to know whether the product is available and you can get it okay another reason for you to uh, inquire to the other company is because you want to find out the product price sometimes Maybe in advertisement, they will uh, advertise on the product price. That is good. But sometimes, you might want to buy in bulk uh, or in, in a large quantity at the same time. So, you want to find out how much you can get for the particular uh, product. Maybe you want to find and to buy like 100 kilos of that thing. Then, maybe it has a different price. Maybe there are discounts. So, that is where you can ask for the price of the product. Second, uh, the third one, uh, terms of payment means that you want to inquire, you want to ask the other company, how can you pay for the products that you want to get? For example, maybe you want to buy through checks, maybe you want to buy through money transfer online, uh, maybe you want to cash on delivery or any kind other kinds of payment methods. So, you need to be able to decide the terms between the two companies so that you will be able to make sure that the process will be running smoothly as well as uh this is, this coincides with delivery dates meaning that you will decide on when uh, you will ask on when whether the company will be able to provide the product that uh which is uh, uh near the time that you want that product for example you want it by next week you will inquire them whether they are able to pro provide the product by next week so that is why you ask them through letter or email and then the next one is catalogs or samples catalogs and samples mean sometimes uh, certain companies they provide samples of the products or some catalog of the items that they may have so and uh, so you can inquire about them you can ask them to send you uh, sample some samples of the product so that you can check whether it's, it's it is appropriate for your own use or whether you can uh, modify or something and then catalog so they have uh, a lot of other more products that you can see and you can check whether you will you want to buy all of them or some of them so those you can inquire through email or letters okay then we have for concession it means that uh, for example maybe you requested a product before and then they are not able to provide it okay then then you write a, le a, pop a letter of inquiry asking for concession meaning that you want them to provide some sort of re remuneration uh, re uh, like what we say <coughs> What we say, some sort of thing that they can give for you to cover up the mistakes that happen, or maybe the unavailability of the product, or something like that. So, concession is where you you want them to uh, admit that they they are not able to do something, and then they you they you want them to come up with something else to uh, what we say to help you with the uh, to cover. Uh, back what is the problem so concession usually we ask them to uh, repay back maybe repay back the money or maybe give another product so that is how you request for concession so and last one is product details means that 
you are trying to ask more clarification on what the product is the details and then the weight the the functions those kinds of things so those are what you can ask through emails or letter of inquiry so this will be what you will write on in your letters or email so please be reminded of that so general types of inquiry letters we have two types solicited inquiry and unsolicited unsolicited inquiry so for solicited inquiry there um, it means that the one who write the letter or email you have seen the advertisement you know what the, the company is selling you know how much is it selling and then you are just writing for further information because you want to know more about that particular product for uns- unsolicited inquiry means that you are trying to take the initiative means that you don't know you you are not clear whether the company sells that product maybe they, they you don't know what the price of the product and then you just try to want to ask them about the particular thing okay so there's no advertisement about that maybe you are guessing maybe the company have that product then you just try to ask them okay so that is unsolicited solicited means that you already know you already confirm they have that product you know the particular thing that they have and you want to write for for the information it means that you ask for the more you ask for more details so this is the other way around okay so this is an example of a solicited inquiry so for this okay like i mentioned like we always mention first thing you must have a greeting your salutations and then you write about your purpose what is why why are you writing this letter and then see they i am very interested in your dining set model ph uh, P, fphp 101 that means that you already know the particular product and then you know that they have that particular they, they are selling that particular product but you not you want to know if they have it in stock or maybe you want to know about the price and then you want to know about the details that is why you write the letter this is a solicited inquiry you know they sell it you know they have had a particular model but you don't know but but you you are not sure whether they have it in stock or they will sell it in the same price that that has been advertised so do you want to ask for further information okay and then you can include about delivery and then the payment those kinds of things and then you finish off with your signature at the bottom so this remember solicited inquiry so they, if you they ask you to write a letter of solicited inquiry you must write it like this on the other hand with for unsolicited inquiry look at the sentence use so dear sir toy are uh, toy are for us inform us that you are the distributors of the new abc educational toys so you, you only know they have additional uh, educational toys you don't know a particular model or a particular product that they have so you want to know about that particular product then you use it like this they ask you to send particulars of the product because you don't know how they look like how they function so you want to see about that and then you ask for samples and catalogs as well so you, you want to get because they, they haven't done any kind of advertisement they haven't shared anything about the product but you know they have some sort of product so you want to get to know more about that so they uh, you already know they have the particular product particular model ah uh, but this one you don't know you know that they have something but you don't know what is that thing so that is how you use for unsolicited unsolicited inquiry <coughs> so introduction for solicited inquiries these are some of the ways that you can use to start writing your solicited inquiries so first thing we have we have seen your advertisement in fill in the blanks with what you will uh, you, you 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 use for example maybe in facebook or maybe in the newspaper or maybe online those kinds of things and you would like we glad if you can uh, send us particulars of that particular product that you want for example the the dining table just now model p uh, fp hp 101 uh, you know that model you include it in there okay then the second one your advertisement in the month issue of uh see the magazine or something put it in invent the details that as you want and then please send information about uh, the, the product that you want so 
<coughs> the focus here that you know what they are selling you know the particular thing that they are selling you just want to get them to give more information right but for unsolicited these are some of the things that you can use Lala and Lily of Telang Jaya recommended you your firm goods equipment to us you are not sure whether they are selling that but they recommend they have been recommended of that for you so you want to get to know better about their products so they can ask um, as a sample as a, some sort of what we say catalog uh, so this is what you can use and then remember whenever you write a letter or an email please include the concluding sentence when you start you must finish okay example some of this we hope to hear from you soon put something that is polite and then very like comforting to them so that they will uh what we say they will not feel threatened of what you are trying to say to them okay we look forward to hearing from you soon or within the next few days as a matter is urgent we appreciate an early reply so those kinds of things okay <clears throat> because you want them to provide a fast response uh, to you for you so please try to use community centers that can help them identify whether the impo- uh, whether uh, it is important or not for them to respond as soon as possible right so for this one try to look at this do your own uh, do it and your own time try to look at what kind of uh, letter that you need to require to do is it solicited unsolicited and try to come up with your own letter of inquiry that you can write and then share with others so that you they, we can, they will be able to see how well you write the particular letter of inquiry so thank you very much for listening to me this is the end for the first part see you in the second part bye bye